I know what fans like when I do scribbles in my notebook. Here's my notebook. Here's some scribbles here. And we're just going to do a little video Browns scribbles. So, all right, number one in the notebook. It's not the red zone. We'll get to that in a moment, though. Antonio Callaway and Hollywood Higgins. Hollywood Higgins caught the winning touchdown pass. Some of the people have been reading me a long time know I've been on uh, the Hollywood Higgins bus pretty, pretty much since 2016 when he was drafted. Not that he's a great receiver, but I think he's a good one. You can rely on him. Unfortunately for Higgins, he injured his knee in the opening game of the season, was out. Antonio Callaway was ahead of him on the depth chart when uh, he came back. But did you notice Antonio Callaway, a healthy scratch at yesterday's game? Something happened between Sunday morning and game time where they took him off the roster, played Higgins. I don't know about you, I've had enough of Antonio Callaway. Suspended for four games early in the year for flunking a drug test, a bunch of other kind of stupid things going in his background before that. You know, Higgins is somebody you can count on. Just keep him ahead on the depth chart. Number two, all right, red zone I know is coming. Red zone, red zone. How about getting a fullback? Get a fullback. Right now, the Browns have, I need this because they have to get all the names right, different, they have Nick Chubb as a running back, Kareem Hunt as a running back. They have Dontrell Hilliard, and they have D. Ernest Johnson. Four running backs, zero fullbacks. Get a fullback. I got a name, Orson Charles, was with the Browns last season. He's now with the... Washington defenders of the XFL. Doesn't have to be Orson Charles. A big guy, you put him right in front of Chubb, and he goes in there, blasted to the line. You might score around the end zone with a fullback there. I remember a couple years ago, the Browns had a guy named David Vickers. He was very good at it. A couple other quick things on uh, the Browns. By the way, you know, we have to really, uh, Austin Seibert kicking field goals. He's perfect on all of them this year. I know he missed a 48 yard extra point. Here's another thing, I just made a note in my uh, post-game scribbles, and I think it's worth repeating. The Browns' best receiver last year was Jarvis Landry. The Browns' best receiver this year is Jarvis Landry. And for all the hype about Odell, and Dell, yeah, they threw Odell 12 passes in this game. He had one drop, he could have had been credited with two. He's got six drops this year. And you know, look, I see the talent, I don't see all that production that much. Thank goodness the Browns have Jarvis Landry. So that's my thought. Get a fullback. Play more Hollywood Higgins and greater appreciation for Jarvis Landry.